Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Brie. Um, today's video is just going to be super chill, just kind of sitting, talking, putting on some makeup, get ready with me type vibes. Um, I really wanted to film like a really cool, I thought it'd be a fun idea to film a video, um, like a full face of makeup I never use or never reach for because honestly there's so much makeup that I have that I just don't touch. And I forgot, like was it because I don't touch it because I don't like it? Do I not touch it because... I just forgot about it. Well, I tried to do that video earlier this week and I only filmed like, I think I only got to bronzer and my face looked like shit. Um, I'm really disappointed too because, um, I guess I should get started putting on makeup. Um, I'm disappointed because I used this foundation that I never use. It was this YSL foundation. It's like a more full coverage foundation than what I usually use. And it made my face look so textured. Like you could see every little baby hair. You could see everything. And it just like, usually, so this is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. And it's really like a light coverage foundation. Just to kind of give like some even skin tone. But the YSL Foundation, why it sucks because um, it was like 70, 60, 70 dollars. I don't even know. And the bottle's like almost full. So I thought like, oh, maybe I just don't use it because I forgot about it. Maybe I don't use it, you know whatever but I guess I don't use it because it makes my face look like shit and it's like a full bottle and that sucks I don't know lately like I wasn't a full coverage foundation or maybe I wasn't you know I would go to Sephora when I first started doing makeup and I would they would ask me what type of foundation I wanted to try or I wanted and I didn't know like I, I didn't know you know they would you know do like I used to take like the foundation class like the um flawless foundation class and whatever that they have my hair is getting all in my face now. God damn it. Let's just do this again. Um, so I've like taken, you know, and then they would get like the makeovers and like test out foundation and stuff. And I don't know, like I like the look of full coverage foundation, I guess, if you're doing like a full glam, like heavy makeup look. But on a daily basis, I don't think I like full coverage foundation. I'm getting this everywhere. Usually I apply this with my hands first and then like rub it in and just kind of like buff it with the sponge. But... The girl at MAC when I bought this foundation told me to apply it with my hands, and so I do. I don't know why. She didn't tell me why, and I didn't ask why, but so I do. I know, that was an exciting story. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so my foundation. So I tried to do this video, full face of makeup I never use, and I did the foundation, and it looked super cakey, and like I said, you could see every baby hair. It just was not my cup of tea, but I kept going. I was like, okay, maybe this will get better. Maybe I can just fix this with some bronzer or something. I don't know. Well, then the bronzer I used was also from MAC, and it was like a really warm tone, orangey bronzer. And I remember I got it because I had asked, I just realized I forgot eye primer. Ugh, okay. Um, I had asked the girl at MAC for like a contour shade, and she suggested that. I don't have it to show you guys, but it's so orange. And I don't know, it's not a cool toned, like, war contour. Like, here's my contour, this Kevin Aquan one. Like, this is my contour shade. This is, like, my the, bra the shade she suggested for me to contour with is, like, orange-orange. And so I put that on in my video. I know this is a really exciting story, by the way, but... I put it on in my video and it looked so bad. I could not believe how orange it was. And then I just had to stop the video. Why I felt the need to tell you guys that, I don't know. But I was really, that's the first video I've ever like gave up on <laughs> and just was like, nope, this isn't gonna work. Um, there was no saving it. I'm like, well, maybe I could save it with some blush. And of course I tried a blush I never reached for. And it just was like, not good. Not good. I know everyone's like, oh, great story, pretty great story. but. But I don't know. That's the story. Um, I do still have the like blooper reel of it. it. It was just so bad. So anyway, I'm using this NARS Custard as an eye primer. I don't know. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I don't know if this is going to be too thick for an eye primer, but I forgot to bring over my eye prime or my base. So let's just do this. <clears throat> I also kind of put, so I know my makeup videos were kind of, at least to me it was annoying because I was using like the handheld mirror and I feel like a lot of times I tried to keep it out of the like view but it would always end up creeping in and sometimes you know you can't see what you're looking at so I kind of set up this like little mirror. I look crazy. 
Um, I kind of set up this little mirror down here, so I'm trying something different today. See if this works out. Um, yeah, so that's my setup, and that's my fail makeup I never use. I guess I never use it because it sucks. Which, again, it's kind of shitty because I'm sure that MAC bronzer was, like, not cheap. I know the YSL foundation was not cheap. And that sucks because I have no use for them. And I have a lot of makeup like that. And I thought maybe I didn't reach for it, like I said, because I just forgot about it. It's really sh Whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'll try that video again. But I was also thinking of doing a video of makeup empties, like things I've actually finished. I know like a lot of beauty gurus do that. Um, you know, products I've actually finished. But I don't know if it's the same effect if I do it because I'm just a regular person who actually does use their makeup. But even saying that, saying that, like, it takes a lot to go through makeup or to like hit pan on makeup, you know, on like eyeshadow. So even though I'm just a regular person, there are some products that I have hit pan on or have finished and will repurchase. And I don't know, I kind of thought that maybe was an interesting video. Um, but I don't know if anyone actually cares about products that I've actually finished. So if you guys do care and you do want to see a video on products I've finished or hit pan on, um, let me know in the comments because I will make it. If anyone is actually interested, I will do it. I just don't want to make it and then it'd be like super boring because it's just a regular person using up their makeup at the end of the day. Okay, what am I doing? Concealer. Um... What else I want to talk about? I don't know. I've just been kind of a rut. I guess, like, I really wanted to do, talking more about my videos, I really wanted to do, like, a holiday look or, like, I don't know, some type of, like, yeah, fun holiday look or something. But I can't figure out what holiday look means to me. Like, is, to me, a holiday look, like, I don't want red and green eyeshadow. I, I just don't. I mean, maybe a holiday look could be, like, a deep, smoky eye or something or, like, um, like a burgundy, I don't know, like it's, ho does holiday just mean like adding red to it? Or to me also holiday could be adding, um, like gold. Like I was thinking of doing like a gold eyeshadow look or something, but I'm trying to figure out what hol and I don't know, I'm not like searching on in or Instagram for like holiday eyeshadow looks, but, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really know what a holiday eye look. Like, I guess, couldn't, this is just, like, more sparkly? Because I always wear sparkles. So, in that respect, a holiday look doesn't really, like, translate to me. But, again, let me know in the comments if anyone has any ideas of what, like, a holiday eyeshadow look should be. Because I'd be interested to know. Maybe try it out. Um, I'm not really going, you know, uh, to any, like, holiday parties or anything like that. So... Or as of right now, I'm not going to any holiday parties. I don't know. I don't even remember the last time I went to a holiday party was. And I don't really care, but... Um, you know, last year was super tough for me at the holidays. I was going through, you know, I was, like, in the thick of it in that toxic relationship. Like, still in it, but not... No, definitely still in it. I, I'm not going to say not in it. Um, you know, fighting, like, fighting constantly via email or like seeing it I don't even know just fighting constantly in the relationship you know after I had gotten that charge and like I found out he cheated and I was trying to like get away and then blah 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 I mean point being last December was a really rough month so I didn't go to any holiday, like holiday uh parties that was where I was going with that I don't even know if I got invited maybe whatever it doesn't matter um but I would probably just make normal makeup if I was going to, like, some pate. Okay, so, uh, this video is kind of weird. Um, I'm gonna do this lighter, um, powder underneath my eyes. This is the MAC Studio Fix. It's, like, a really light powder. Sometimes I like to do this. It, like, not an everyday look, but, because it really does brighten it up under the eye. I'm a big fan of, like, a super bright under eye. Almost, like... You know, not trying to, like, pull it off as, like, real, but just, like, I don't know. What am I even saying right now? Um, oh, yeah, so I was talking about December. Okay, holiday parties. Um, yeah, I don't want to give a shit about that, but I don't know. Um, so holiday makeup look. What does qualify a holiday makeup look? To me, I feel like if people just add, I don't know, red. 
I definitely don't want green eyeshadow. Well, it's funny. <laughs> I just said I don't want green eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow I'm going to use today is this one from Urban Decay. Um, I depotted it to put it in this stupid Z palette that I bought a while ago, which I absolutely hate because it's like not secure in the shadow. Like you can't tra travel with it. Anyway, I depotted this. I don't remember what it's called, but it's super pretty, like a duochrome kind of, like a green brown shift. So I'm going to use that today. Maybe this is a holiday look. I do have red lipstick today too. Am I doing a holiday video? Um, I never wear red lipstick. And red lipstick was what I pulled for my makeup I never wear video. And then, you know, it fell apart. But I have so much red lipstick because I genuinely like what it looks like. But again, I don't like... On me, with lipstick, it's like... I don't know. I just feel like it really just more emphasizes the, like, shape of my lips more. And I'm not a fan of the shape of my lips. So, I don't know. I don't wear it. I also don't really wear lipstick. It's kind of the thing I forget. Like, it's my least favorite. Like, I like the way it looks, but it's definitely my least favorite or least required makeup item. Like, if I had to leave one makeup item, you know, like, just get rid of one makeup item forever, it would probably be lipstick. Because, I don't know, I just don't care that much about it. Maybe if I had, like, really awesome lips. And saying that, it's still stupid. Like, I should like what my lips look like. They're just lips. But, you know, it's like, they're uneven, and they're kind of thin, but mainly I don't like my lips, is because they're uneven. Like, I have, let's just tell you. So, that is one thing I wanted to talk about this video, is just, like, my insecurities, kind of, and, like, body positivity, and, like, why body positivity is so fucking hard to do sometimes. But, that goes in what, what I'm just saying, I'm talking shit about my own lips for no fucking reason. Like, if I don't like them... You know, no one, it doesn't even matter who likes it. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. So, like, my lips, I'm just going to show you guys. Like, I have TMJ in this jaw, and so it, like, shifted, I think, my, um, I got whiplash when I was, like, in college. I did this bungee jumping thing in Mexico and, like, really kind of snapped my neck. And um, ever since then, I've had, like, some jaw issues, and I think that's where I attribute it back to. But, so this jaw kind of pulls, or my jaw, my joint kind of pulls my jaw this way so like my lips are aligned and also it messes up my teeth which like I used to I had braces when I was younger so I had like really perfect teeth and over time just the pulling on my jaw has like really like fucked up my teeth which is also an insecurity that I wanted to talk about um they're chipped and they're now like not even and it fucking I hate it especially in these videos having to look at my teeth um oh yeah so lips so my lips aren't even they're like it kind of like comes out more here and in there, but if I shift my jaw over, they're pretty even. So that's normal. You can see here, just that to that. And then if I shift from my jaw, I don't know if this makes any sense, but I feel like it does. So <laughs> now I can't even do it because I'm laughing. Okay, normal lips. And then they're even. So it's just that my fucking jaw is out of line. And I don't know. I went to a, like, a specialist, a, doc a dentist once about it. And it was going to be like thousands of dollars to like extra, I don't know, all this shit that, to fix it. And it, he didn't take insurance. And it was just like, whatever. So it does cause me a lot of pain too. Um... But yeah, then let's talk about my other Instagram, my teeth. Let's go on to teeth while we do some bra or contour. Um, so yeah, my teeth are uneven now, and I don't like it. It's really like an insecurity of mine. I think I smile probably different now. I think I'm more con like self conscious of my smile, um, and I just don't like it. They're definitely like uneven, and it's definitely like shifted my bite. Like I also grind, used to grind my teeth really bad. So, I know this is a bunch of information that you guys all care about, but, um, I actually was, um, I follow this girl on Instagram, and she lives in the Phoenix area, um, she's got, like, 50,000 followers, I don't know what that qualifies you as, but she posted on her story something about a dentist in town, it was a cosmetic dentist, and, um, <clears throat> He, like, sh just, like, evened her teeth, like, shaved them, but they also do veneers, and he does, like, this, like, what is it called? Something smile test drive or something. I don't know. 
Um, but so I sent, I found him on Instagram and I sent, you can send in your picture of your teeth and your concerns and then they'll do like an assessment, um, of what they would recommend for you. And it took a couple weeks, but I actually got the assessment back. They emailed it to me the other day <clears throat> and they talk about how, you know, in some people they can just, you know, shave the teeth down and even them and it's only like 1500 bucks and, you know, going on to different type of smiles. And then I look at what they recommended for me. And they recommended four veneers for me. Probably like the four that are chipped here. I don't even know what they're going to do about that one. Like, you didn't even see right there. Um, they recommended four veneers to fix my smile. And the fucking cost was $7,500. Like, okay. Uh, I don't have that kind of money. And even if I did have that kind of money, it probably could be better spent than on your teeth. So like, it was kind of disappointing to see that like, to fix what I don't like or even what a, a cosmetic dentist sees as wrong with my smile, it would cost almost $10,000. And that's just not realistic. Like there's never, even when I start working and like, I'm never gonna pay 10, you know what I mean? Like, so I guess it's just a smile I have from now on. And I was really hoping they would just say, like, shave them down. Because they're, like, chipped here. Like, these ones. Like, I was really hoping they would just come back. Like, you could just shave it down. It's 1500 Even 1500 bucks is a lot. But, like, I don't know. Yeah, to fix my smile, it's $7,500. So, I guess I just better learn to fucking love it, right? Going into body positivity. Like, I shouldn't be the one to talk shit on my smile. I shouldn't be the one talking shit about my lips. Because if I don't love them, again, I want to say, the sentence that I keep wanting to say is if I don't love them, why would anyone else? But, like, I don't fucking care if anyone else loves them. Like, I care what I think. You know, it's not doing it to, like, impress someone else. It's doing it because I'm self-conscious about it, you know? So, then, on the topic of body positivity, I have heard, my biggest insecurity, probably, is my weight. And... I know, like, looking at me like this on the camera, you know, maybe, you know, it doesn't, I'm not saying I'm fat, I'm not even fat, I'm not saying that I'm, like, obese or whatever, but let me just, and, like, hear me out here. So, I posted a picture on Instagram, a 10-year challenge, and it was me from 2009, just, like, this far up, and now, and... You know, I kind of look the same. Like, I I think I get it from my grandma, who is, like, 90-something, and she, like, has barely any wrinkles. And, like, I think my young... I know I get it all the time. Like, you're how old? Like, you don't... You look like you're, you know, however. And I get it all the time. I look younger than I really am, which is fine. I'd rather look younger than older. Um, but I used to be... My frame, I'm 5'2". And I have, like, a small frame. And for quite some time, most of my life, I was, like, 120 pounds, right? It's fine. It was, like, a healthy weight. Fit my frame. And then I started to gain some weight around 10 years ago. And it was a slow progression at first. I kind of went up to 130. And to me, that was, like, a lot. And then I was really depressed at the time. Like, I'm sure a lot of factors played into the weight gain. You know, I wasn't physically active. Like, whatever. Um, you know, then the scale starts creeping up and you become comfortable with the next number, you know, 140, whatever. Um, and I stayed around 140 for like quite some time. And then what happened is around 2017, I, you know, when I was really in the middle of that toxic relationship, I started going crazy and I thought I was, I went to my psychiatrist and he diagnosed me as bipolar, which I'm not because I'm not on any medicine and I'm fine, but like... I was so insane in the brain from that relationship that I presented with symptoms, not just like say there's nothing wrong, you know, with mental health, there's no, you know, I've been through it. Like everyone has their shit, but like, it doesn't matter if you're bipolar or if you're not. Like I presented that way. I was so in my head, you know, he had gotten me so crazy that like I legit, my, it was a doctor that I had been seeing for years, too. Like, it wasn't, like, a new doctor that didn't know me. Like, this doctor knew me for years. 
And so he had a pretty good baseline of like who I was. And I went to him because I was losing my mind. I was like missing work and I was like fucking up and I was like not sleeping and just not in a good place. And he diagnosed me as bipolar. So that doesn't really matter. But um, what matters is he put me on a bunch of medicine. One of the medicines they put me on was lithium and they put me on Abilify, which is an antipsychotic. And what else did they put me on? Some um, ambient to sleep and there were other things later on, but that was primarily it. And the problem was, is that Abilify has a high incidence of waking. As a pharmacist, I know this to be true. It's just a class, it's a drug class effect. It's like it happens. And I started gaining weight. Like, and I was convinced I needed the medicine because I was convinced that the medicine was helping me because I was losing my mind and people were telling me I was better with the medicine or this and that. Like, none of it matters. This isn't a story about the relationship. But um, I started gaining weight so fast that, like, I think I started the medicine July, the end of July 2017. And by... I don't know November I don't even know when it happened but like the scale kept going up and up and up and it wasn't like the thing is, is I wasn't very physically active then and I was eating like shit yes but I had been eating like shit and not physically active before the medicine you know so like nothing in my life had changed besides the start of the medicine and I started watching the scale go up and up and up and up and up and up and up like the rate just like never I've never seen it before and I didn't know what was happening and it was just like what the fuck am I doing again I wasn't I didn't change any of my habits to like you know I didn't all of a sudden stop you guys will get what I'm saying but like it was just the fucking medicine and I kept taking the medicine because everyone told me I don't know if that's too orange shit um everyone told me I needed it so I kept taking it and at my heaviest was March 2018 and it was around um middle March I remember going to my neurologist so I go for migraines and he put me on the scale you know for a regular office visit and I was like 179 maybe like 179 pounds on a five on a five foot two frame why am I telling you this long weight story I don't know um let's do blush so it was a lot of weight to carry around like you know, weight is, you know, in perspective of, like, if you're five, six, or if you're whatever, whatever, like, weight is going to look different, you know, on you or be different, and, and some people just have that frame to hold that weight, and my body doesn't, like, um, and also, my, I was about to say my stupid body, so, like, body positivity, my body's not stupid, it just isn't how I my ideal whatever you know what I mean it's not stupid but I got to get that out of my head is what I'm talking about this body positivity like so my body my lovely body likes to carry all of my weight I mean my che cheeks are a little like chunky here like I probably had a jawline more like this before I don't know whatever it doesn't matter but my body likes to carry all of my weight all of my weight in my stomach a little in my like my arms are probably a little bit bigger I mean maybe my I don't know but like all of it in my stomach to the point where like I have gotten asked if I'm pregnant or when my baby is due is it a boy or a girl um yeah whatever those type of questions definitely more than once I can't even count how many times I'm not gonna say not more than 20 I don't know, I don't know, but like over the past couple years, you know, it's not happened all the time, but when it happens, it like smacks you in the face. It's like, you're going about your day thinking you're looking cute and like, <laughs> whatever. And especially this used to happen when I worked in the pharmacy and retail, I worked in a supermarket pharmacy and like people would just come to the counter to pick up their medicine. And then I totally forgot to do my eyes. I guess we'll do the next. And then, you know, as they're picking up their medicine, they'd be like, so when... Um, is it a boy or a girl? Or when is, when is your, do, when do you do? Or whatever, like, shit people shouldn't fucking be asking is what it was. Like, none of your fucking business. Even if I am pregnant, none of your business is if it's a boy or a girl, you know? Like, none of your fucking business. So, yeah, that would happen. And that would just rock me. Because, again, you guys know, if you watch my other video, 
I have fertility issues or struggles and I've tried to get pregnant and I can't really get pregnant and the doctors have said it's unlikely for me to have a biological child of my own. So like add that into this comment of like, oh, when's your baby due? Like let alone is fucking rude and I'm not pregnant. And again, you just call me fat to my face, but like tried to hide behind like being nice or whatever. Um, but again, I can't get pregnant probably. So like it's another slap in the face on like a different level because it's like, it just is like if I, I don't know if that doesn't make any sense to you like it just is like it just fucking hurt and let alone like so I would exercise and I would, like anyway what am I even talking about oh yeah my weight I don't even know I've struggled my weight is my biggest because I carry it all in my stomach it just is fucking I do I feel like I look like I'm pregnant and <sighs> the most frustrating part and it's not that I look like I'm pregnant is a bad thing it's just you know all of my weight is there in my stomach and um it sucks like just disperse it evenly like be normal um so I have what am I talking about um so my weight um oh yeah so with that I guess we're talking, I've tried to, I've gotten better about, like, just accepting who I am and, like, how I look and, um, you know, finding cute clothes to wear that fit me. Like, that was a big thing for a while is I had nothing that really fit me. Like, I outgrew all of my clothes. So, I was wearing, like, really kind of frumpy shit that, like, I didn't like and didn't really flatter me, but I was trying to hide my stomach. And I figured that's not the way to go about it. Like, so now I will wear things that are more flattering like may might be a little tighter than I was into before because you know what fuck it like there's nothing wrong like it's just a body and this is how my body wants to look right now and I'm gonna wear the shit I want to wear where I'm at right now like you know I was like embarrassed I was like wearing different clothes before because I didn't want like someone to call me pregnant or something but I don't care now I'm wearing like little crop tops in summer and not looking like hooch but like you know whatever I think I look cute so yeah, my frustration comes in with, um, I've never, like, done this much makeup and not done my eyeshadow first. It's weird. Uh, my frustration comes in because <sighs> since at least the past couple months, if not a while, like, my eating, so my eating habits completely changed over a year ago. Like, I used to eat just junk food from, like, the gas station and shit, like, just bad, like, slushies and shit, just sugar, sugar, sugar all the time. And... My eating habits have completely changed, at least for the past year, since I've been, since I moved in with my mom. Um, but also, my exercise has greatly increased, I'd say since September, so it's December now. Um, I started walking, you know, a lot. And, like, I've walked a lot, where it's, like, I've, like, so it's calories in, calories out, you know, for weight loss. Like, so I can't figure out with my body and where I struggle is I just don't know. My body will not drop this weight. And if anything, it increases the weight. Like I've gotten to like around 150. Like, so I'm, this is hard to say. So I weighed myself on scale yesterday. I think I was around 175, which is still a lot. Like that's almost to my max weight. Like, and I feel better. It's like, I remember how I felt and I looked and I feel like I look better now, but I don't know. I know you gain muscle when you're like exercising and things, but this has been going on for quite a while of my exercising to where eventually it should also switch to like losing weight. So I struggle with understanding why my body won't drop the weight, even though I'm eating healthy or ish, you know, or way healthier than I was. I'm now exercising um, it, a lot in the past, even like three weeks, I downloaded Pokemon Go, which I know is like whatever, I'm having fun with it, but it's making me, you know, so every time I go walking now, I play the game, and I've walked, I think I downloaded it, like, around the 15th of November, and I've already walked over 100 kilometers, so, like, that's, like, I don't know, 60 miles, I don't know what that is, but, like, maybe 60 miles, and so that's, like, in less than three weeks, I've walked 60 miles alone, and I'm gaining weight, like, this is just a rant about my weight, I, I don't even know what this is, um, what do I want? Let's just put on some eyeshadow. How about that? So I just get frustrated because I'm like doing what I'm supposed, you know, was supposedly doing the right thing and like exercising and, you know, eating healthy and I'm gaining weight <laughs> to a point where I know this is going to sound stupid. Please don't send any like ridiculous hate in the comments for me, what I'm about to tell you, but 
I have struggled with gaining, losing weight for so long. I've tried diets. I've tried everything. Like I said, the weight increases. Like I said, I think the, like I said, like I said, I think the lowest I've gotten on the scale was maybe 150. And then that was like two months ago. But then somehow, even though nothing has changed in two months, I gained 15 pounds. Um, I want to get like I know this is probably not the case so I have to like give a disclaimer about what I'm what I'm about to say is so stupid but is it stupid I don't know um I can't figure out why my body even when all right this is a lot I'm like stalling to tell you guys this um I can't figure out why my body won't drop this weight no matter what I do if even even if I starved myself for like however long no weight would drop and so it's frustrating and so you know there's those shows those like medical like mystery shows where it's like not the I you know the one like, I'm talking about like I didn't know I was pregnant and blah 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 or like I had a 30 pound tumor and I never knew and everyone's like how did you not know and they're like I don't know I just thought I was fat okay I'm not saying I have a tumor but like I'm not but like it's fine if I don't and I'm just overweight and whatever reason I need to change something and like whatever but I genuinely would like I don't have insurance health insurance right now because I'm waiting to start my new job so I can't like whatever but like I'd like just like a scan like just scan me and just rule out that there's not an underlying like issue or something like I've gotten blood work done before and things are usually fine but like just rule it out and then call me stupid and then tell me ah oh, you were so ridiculous but like it's not cr the most crazy thing you've ever heard like it does happen to people where they don't know where yeah they have a tumor and they don't know it and they just ignore it and they think it's fine and they just become used to like how it is you know what I mean like um I'm just still putting the same color in my eyes, like, really nervous to say this. Because I know it sounds kind of out there, but, like, it's okay if I don't. Like, it's okay if I'm just, if it's just, you know, fat cells. Like, it's okay. Then I can go from there. But I don't see why I have, like, I've talked to this about, I've mentioned it to my mom and, like, some other people in my life before. That, like, I just like to get a scan. Like, just rule it out. Like, just then call me crazy. But, like, everyone when I say that to, they're, like, blow me off like it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever said and it's like I don't care you know it's like why not like what if there is something wrong and how are you to, you know my mom is the worst of like of this because she loves to tell me I like you know I'm there's nothing wrong when like she doesn't know because just because it's not likely that doesn't mean you know you know just because you don't think so that doesn't mean whatever I don't know I'm getting really heated about this topic because it's frustrating like I've mentioned it to some people and they just think I'm crazy like it's just also because like all of the weight is in my stomach like it could genuinely be again this is so stupid oh my god I don't know if I should do. I'm gonna stop on this topic but like just rule it out so I know rather than going however many years and then getting diagnosed with something and it's like oh well how did you not know and I'm everyone like well everyone just told me I was overweight and I needed to exercise more and they're like okay I don't know god damn it I said it out loud but I don't know call me crazy fuck it um so I'm just gonna put on some eyeshadow I'm like all thrown off because I did my eyes for or my whole face first I don't, <laughs> I don't even know where to go how do I transition out of I think I might have a tumor in my stomach <laughs> but it, I even have to say I know it's probably not likely and that's okay if it's not likely at least I can go from there and like <sighs> have the peace of mind to know that this giant change in my body isn't something else you know that's all I'm saying like just rule it out and then I can go from there I don't know if you guys maybe know what I'm talking about but so with that a whole topic of this was body positivity it's really hard to love your body when you don't know what your body's fucking doing you know when you think you should be exercising and doing the right shit and then your body's still gaining weight like and it's okay to be whatever size like weight doesn't define you I know that but like at the same time when you're trying to make positive changes to also just feel better it's not just about your appearance like it's about a genuinely like don't 
it's heavy carrying around, you know, extra weight on this, on my frame. My, it's not, it's heavy. You know, it, it doesn't feel good. So when you're trying to make improvements and your body's like not listening or even just loving my body when my body doesn't want to let me have a baby, you know, there's a lot of just like, I don't know why it's so hard to love yourself as you are, I guess is what I'm saying. Maybe everyone can do it, and I mean, I don't think I'm alone in that. Like, I genuinely try, yeah, I, I hear myself saying negative things about myself, and I genuinely try to correct that, um, but they still happen, you know? I still say it, and then I catch myself saying it, and then it's like, why is that thought even in my head? Like, talking about my ugly teeth or my crooked smile or, you know, I said ugly teeth on purpose, but you know what I'm saying, like... Why are those words even implanted in my brain? Like, who told me to think that that was ugly? Like, it's just how I look, you know? I guess that's just where I'm at. I don't know. I'm really just trying to love me for me and not let what I think, you know? I don't even know where to go from that. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about, anyone that's watching this. It's a struggle. And it shouldn't be. There's nothing wrong with any weight or anything. Unless there's a tumor. <laughs> um, but. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to love me and be me. And be happy with me. <sighs> and you know what? Most days I think I do okay. But I don't really ever talk about it. I guess is why I'm rambling about this too, is I don't ever really bring it, I don't ever really talk out loud about it, you know? You try to present that like strong, you know, fearless, independent, powerful, whatever face, you know, in public. And you know, that's just not the fucking case all the time. Like, I'm not really into faking it anymore after dealing with, after hiding so much that I hid in that relationship from everyone else, what was going on in my life. I'm generally not interested in hiding shit anymore. Like, I am what I am, I am who I am, and that's okay. Like, I know I'm not perfect. I'm not the best makeup artist. I'm not, uh, what else am I not the, I don't know why that came out of my head first. I guess just cause I'm doing makeup. Like, you know, I'm not a professional, but like, I like it, I'm having fun, like, Oh, I totally forgot I was talking about the 10-year challenge earlier. Um, yeah, it's like, oh, how did I even get that? Oh, yeah, I'm just over trying, like, the fake it, like, for public persona. Like, this is me. Love me or hate me. I don't fucking care, but I'm not going to be someone else, you know, just to, like, post a pretty picture on Facebook or on Instagram to, like, look like you're, like, something you're not. Like, this is just who I am. I feel like that's important. If, all, if that's all I have, you know, I don't really have any money in the bank. I don't have any whatever. <laughs> like, all I've got is me. So, I'm not going to front like I am anything else. And I like that. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah, I wanted to mention the 10-year challenge picture. Um, I'm so, again, same video. Should this be a million things at once part two? Or is this just how I tell? I really... My brain likes to, like connect thoughts that maybe don't have connection like you can't see the connection you know right away but like in my brain you know I mentioned the makeup artist but then I mentioned the 10-year challenge picture because in my mind I see a makeup difference in the 10-year challenge picture so like then I just spit it out, out and say it out loud and again that's just what I do that's how my brain works so uh, yeah, backstory on my brain working that way. Um, the 10 year challenge picture, I'm you not being the best makeup artist. What I meant by that is I posted that 10 year challenge picture on Instagram and I didn't post it because I was like trying to claim, um, you know, that I looked the same. That wasn't my intention because I know in that picture, actually, I don't think I was wearing any makeup. And I look pretty damn good. There was no, I don't even know if I know if I owned under eye concealer nor knew how to use it. I definitely didn't have under eye corrector back then. And so really, if you want to look at my features, I know the difference. Yeah, I just said my weight is like 
40 pounds different like my under eye circles are different like I can see the difference that like well you know maybe I don't have any wrinkles or whatever but like I can see a structural difference but that's not why I posted the picture I posted the picture because what I see is the difference in my makeup skills like I used to buy makeup all the time and not know how to use it and that's why in that picture I think I was like going out to dinner for my birthday or something that I posted that was probably me like dressed up like I was probably you know I think I'm pretty sure we were going out to dinner for my birthday and that was my look like and I owned makeup so like um I just didn't know how to use it and so to me looking at that 10 year challenge picture and it's only really been in the last couple years I really see the girl that's like evolved my makeup skills like that's why I posted it, is because I'm proud of like that bare face girl to my like full glam beat girl you know I'm proud of that girl like I didn't post it to like show oh look at me I'm my skin is the same or my whatever is the same like I really genuinely liked what I saw in my makeup t skills you know so I don't know where I'm going with that backstory but or not even backstory just a story also as a story this green shadow when I got it I used to suck this is how I like I couldn't even apply it without getting it all over my face I would, there's like a little bit of fallout, but it wasn't even fallout. It was like, I just was using the wrong brushes. I was, um, yeah, just not knowing what I was doing. And I would get green shadow, like all over my face. So like, even just that little note, like thing. And that was just like a year ago or something. I don't know how long I've had the shadow, but like the fact that I can put this on and not have to use a makeup wipe. Is just like improvement for me and I feel like that's what matters you know you can look at your own tenure picture and see what you want to see in it and that's okay like you doesn't everyone ages everyone you know no one's gonna unless you get plastic surgery like no one's expected to look the same and that's not even the point or like yeah they have the you know tenure glow up like I looked I don't know like who really cares at the end of the day what I saw in my picture was I was proud of my makeup um skills achievement I don't know whatever you want to say so well, that's why I posted it I guess I wanted to mention that because in terms of like body positivity um I think it's had contour on it but you know does that look okay those hooded eyes always And I've really developed, like, a better understanding of my face shape, you know, in the past couple years. This video is just all over the place. So I'm proud of that, you know, in the 10-year challenge. Like, 10-year challenge doesn't have to be, like, looking a certain way. And who fucking cares what you look like, you know? You have some scars, you have some wrinkles. Like, that's probably because you experience life, you know? Like, shit happens. And that's Okay. I've got some wrinkles and scars, like. <clears throat> I kinda got it all over here. I'm definitely just doing my makeup in a weird order and it's totally throwing me off right now. Cause like I still have brows. I guess brows are last. I don't know if I've ever done my brows last. Um, let me put on some um that under my eyes <clears throat> light brown let's do this one no this brush yeah so this video is just talking i'm also super stressed out lately so you know i said that i got a job a job offer and that's great I mentioned in the last video or whenever it was that I didn't want to jinx it or something, you know, because it's still pending my background check, but I didn't think there'd be an issue. And I'm not saying there is an issue. I'm just saying it's still pending my background check, which is fine. I've had background checks before that take a little while. I don't really know what the like process of if it goes to different agencies. I don't really know why 
this is definitely pushing like three weeks now I think so like I don't know and I, I know there's nothing in my background to like you know prevent me from getting this job but it just fucks with your head like you just try to think like oh my god is something like why is it taking so long like is it because of something that doesn't exist and like I don't know it just like is really annoying I'm supposed to start my job next um Monday the 16th and so they have one more week or I guess they have to push back my start date but it's just super annoying like I think this might the longest background check I had to, that took or before maybe was like two and a half weeks or something some of them come back really quickly Again, there's nothing in my background you know that history with my ex is expunged from my record um there's nothing else in my background that would like disqualify me for a job but you know your brain just starts like trying to think that there is that looks kind of crazy let me fix this um you know trying so I just have to keep reminding myself that everything's fine if it wasn't fine they would have called me you know and been like oh you know we found something in your background but it's like oh my god hurry up so I check my email like a million times a day. <laughs> so hoping I'll get an email saying your background check is clear. Here's your start date information. And still waiting on that. So. I don't know what I do. I want to put green under there. Sure. Where'd the green go? Let's put a little green under my eyes. I don't know about the shimmer color under my eye. Now I'm like, I just said so much, and now I don't even know what I need to say. I wanna say. These videos where I'm just like kind of rambling, I know, I don't know, I know I don't know is what I know. <laughs> I don't really have anyone to talk to about it, so I guess in a way I'm using this as like talking to you guys even though you can't talk back. But you can in the comments, if you want to leave me a comment. anyone's still watching at this point I always say that and I never know like I can see my analytics but like it doesn't really tell you you know I don't it'll tell me the like average view time but that doesn't tell me like how many people actually finished watching the video you know cuz like in the average view time like there's got to be some people that like watch the whole thing right and some people that clicked off like right away oh just another random thought in my mind now from I think it's working better is this working better using this mirror like this it's funny I used to do my makeup like with two hands like right now I'd probably be holding my eye somewhere or something with this hand but I got so used to I guess holding the mirror in my videos that now even though I have my other hand free, it's not fucking with my makeup. Interesting. If I was doing eyeliner, like not tight lining, but like actual eyeliner, I can't do eyeliner without having to hold my eye. I just can't. I think I tried in one of my videos and it was like a disaster. <laughs> Maybe it would be easier. I think I used um, a gel like pot liner with a brush. So it might be easier if I did like a liquid liner or something with one hand. But I don't know. Because my eyes are so hooded. Like if I do liner and I just make it a little too thick. Then like all of my. Ooh. That's not a mirror. All of my lid space is gone. You know with just a big black line now. Oh look now I'm using my other hand. Woo. Go left hand. What should this video be called? <sighs> I'm 
swear I'm not crazy. Is that what it's called? I swear I'm not crazy. I just got some shit on my... I also had this red liner, Urban Decay. I don't know if I... This look doesn't go with red, does it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I still have to do my brows, damn it. I'm just like not. I wonder if it does Okay, let's just finish up. Um, quick, do some brows quick, quick. What's the quickest way? The brush or the pencil? Just do something. And now it'll be quiet. Silence, because no one can talk and do brows at the same time. Why is that so hard to... Uh, when you concentrate. When I have to, we used to concentrate too when I would be driving and like if I was lost or like trying to do something, I would always turn the radio down in the car or like turn the music down. Do you guys ever do that? Like to concentrate more, I would like or if I was in traffic sometimes, like trying to like merge into a lane, I would like turn the radio down, like it like helped me concentrate or focus. I don't know if that's a thing, but I definitely would used to do that. Oh, last, I know what I can talk about. Um, so I don't know who's still watching this saw my high school reunion video. But I mentioned in the high school reunion video that I had these mean girls that used to like to call my house and um, harass me and threaten me. And my parents had to get caller ID because of it to like track them. And I mentioned in the video that I didn't remember what they used to say to me, but I just assumed it was like something along the lines of go kill yourself and like, you know, tell me I'm a slut and a whore and whatever, um, you know, normal stuff. And... I mentioned it to my mom that I had made that video and I talked about it in there because that was the first time I had like really talked about it ever. And I mentioned that to her that I made the video, but I didn't remember what they said to me. And she goes, oh, so you mentioned, you talked about how they were, th how they would call the house saying they were going to kill you. Like what? Like, I definitely don't remember that. Like I said, I think I probably blocked it out or whatever. Um, but like, think about that for a second. Like, we didn't know who these people were until we got the caller ID and they were calling my house. I didn't know how old these people were, these girls were, if they were like whatever. I mean, who knows? Like, so they were calling my house, telling me on the phone that they were going to kill me amongst other things. And this went on for like a really long time. Like, how is that okay? And even to this day, like, I don't know who they were. I even said in my video, I don't know who they were. But, um, you know, looking back, I thought it was bad enough that they were telling me to go kill myself. But, like, finding out that they were actually telling me to, that they were going to kill me. And, like, I used to walk to school, you know, sometimes. Or, like, you know, it wasn't like I was, like, I was, yeah, what, alone. You know, if I was playing, walking to a friend's house or who knows what, like, not knowing if these girls were serious or like what you know if someone was really gonna hurt me or like try to like fight me or actually kill me I mean I just felt like I was just kind of shocked when my mom said that because I didn't remember that piece of it and I guess that's what happened like and the fact that again now it's so much more talked about you know like bullying and anti-bullying and and this and that like it's like acknowledged and like Back then, yeah, I didn't tell a single soul that this was happening. Probably, I don't know, they threatened me to, like, not tell anyone. Maybe that was the case. Like, threatened if, like, we told anyone they were going to kill me too. I don't know. They were going to kill me if I did and if I didn't, maybe. But I just thought that was an interesting piece of information that I didn't remember, that my mom remembered. Stupid girls stupid girls kids can be so mean 
for no reason. Just because someone's different or, I don't know, they're jealous or... Maybe people are being mean to them so they take it out on others. Does that look okay? I don't know, I just kind of want to mention that for anyone watching that that was just an interesting thing that I found out from my mother I don't know that brow this arch is so much higher in this brow how do I fix that I don't is what happens I know my eyes are watering Um, I feel like I probably started talking about like 10 things that like I didn't ever finish talking about but I'll remember eventually whether it's important I don't know whether it's just rambling maybe I used to curl, be like addicted to curling my lashes. I would never in a million years not curl my lashes right now. And I even had like the most expensive like eyelash, I think it was like such an expensive eyelash curler. Um, like over $20 for a stupid eyelash curler. And like, and like, um, so then I started getting lash extensions and I got addicted to lash extensions, but it was expensive and I was going way too much because I wanted that like freshly done lash look, you know, not the like shitty look when they're like falling out and you need to get a fill. So I was going really frequently. They didn't ruin my lashes, but it was just too expensive. And then I found if good mascara can like, I mean, it's not the same or false lashes, whatever. But after I stopped getting lash extensions, I just never went back to, because I couldn't curl my, oh, I know why. I couldn't curl my lashes with lash extensions on, you know? So I kind of got out of the habit of curling my lashes. But now that I don't have lash extensions, I still just don't do it. Like, I feel like I used to break my lashes all the time with curling them. And I just don't feel like I need it. I mean, maybe they could be, like, up more. But who fucking cares? They're not, like, the curliest, but they're fine. Why I felt I need to tell you that? Just cause. Do you guys curl your lashes? Is it like necessary to curl? I just felt like I was breaking them more, you know? And I didn't like that. Now my eyes are watering and my nose is running. Okay. We're good with that. What do I need? Oh, yes, lipstick real quick. Yikes. I don't want this. Red. I was going to do liner, but... This is like kind of a liner pencil. messed it up. Silence. I guess that's why I use liner because now it's all messy. Uh-oh. 
Okay. Silent. So I have a little more red. Let's put a little more red. Different color red. One more red I never use because we're wearing red. This is like a gloss. Oh yeah. Very wet looking and feeling. All right, that's it. Video's over. Mwah. Um, now I'm getting red all over me. Very shiny. So wipe off in just like five seconds. That was this milk. I really like this, but I don't ever use it. Milk makeup, like a red clear gloss. Okay, well, thanks for listening, and um, I don't know, anything I said, if you guys have any comments, leave it below. I read all comments, and I try to respond to everyone, or I do respond to everyone, I mean, unless you leave something mean, but I think the only mean comment I've gotten, I've still responded, and it was something about saying I was, sounded crazy when I was, like, proud of my incident running into the garage door, which I kind of am fucking proud of it, like whatever um yeah leave me a comment anything i said let's talk as yeah okay nobody in my real life wants to talk to me so you guys be my friends that was so weird i don't know what i'm talking about okay i gotta go bye peace